With regards to carbohydrate, this is a picture of carbohydrate-rich foods, which includes fruits, vegetables, and various types of grain. With regards to carbohydrate, our ability to metabolize carbohydrate changes as we get older. In fact, the food guide pyramid that came up with the fact that we should have six to 11 servings of carbohydrate per day was based on very good metabolic studies of 18-year-old male military recruits. <laughs> yeah, this is very important. An 18-year-old male is gonna have a high amount of muscle mass, a high level of testosterone, and he's gonna be more active than people at probably any other time in their life. His nutritional needs and his ability to metabolize carbohydrate at the level of the muscle tissue is gonna be dramatically different from a 55 or a 65 year old woman who never has had that amount of muscle mass nor that amount of testosterone. So that's really key. Most of us, if we could metabolize a lot of carbohydrate when we're young and active, you know, people who run marathons will eat a lot of carbohydrates and might even carb load. We find as we all get older, we all develop a degree of insulin resistance. It happens more or less depending upon our family history and based upon if we gain weight with time. But as it happens, we have to just watch our carbohydrate intake. We don't have to stop it entirely, but we just have to watch it. And that for many uh, women, that 60% of calories coming from carbohydrates is really too much for them. They won't be able to lose weight or really function optimally with that. This is a picture of uh, some of my favorite healthy fats, which are avocados, some nuts, uh, olive oil. And again, as I mentioned before, fat is not really the enemy, but fat is calorie dense. One gram of fat has um, twice as many calories as the equivalent amount of carbohydrate and protein. So you can't just add olive oil to the food and make it healthy and turn it into a Mediterranean diet. What we found is when we look at um, diets and meal plans, we need to remove some of the carbohydrate and replace it with healthy fats and lean protein. And again, lean protein is key. Most of us do not need more saturated fat. The fat that's present in animal protein that's heavily marbled, like steak and um, fatty cuts of bacon and uh, full fat dairy products. We need the protein, but calories do matter. Because metabolism does slow as we get older, we can't just eat high amounts of protein without taking into account the fat. It's one of the reasons that, for example, men may be able to lose weight on an Atkins-type diet, which is high fat, high protein, but women often don't, or they do for a time, but then they stop losing because their protein is just too heavily uh, connected with the amount of fat. So the key is really lean protein chicken, fish, leaner cuts of meat, uh, low-fat dairy, things like egg white, having some yolks but not a ton of yolks, that type of thing. So understanding your insulin sensitivity, how your body responds to carbohydrate, is very important in terms of coming up with the right type of meal plan to allow somebody to lose weight but also to maintain a healthy weight. Our bodies do change with time, and it's very important to make sure for optimal nutrition that our bodies change along with it.